后来，我终于学会了如何去爱，可惜你早已远去，消失在人海。后来。The first word is Namaste in Chinese. 你好 and then they taught me some、uh, food, the name of food like alu, masu. <laughs> in China, everyone knows that Nepal is a very beautiful country.、Mm-hmm. So we come here. Oh, I'm hungry. I want、okay. to eat. I want to eat. Really hungry. First of all, welcome to PNP Media.、Um, thank you. What's your name?、Um, my name is Chen Xiaochong. Okay, Chen Xiaochong. You can call me Chong. Chong. Yeah, Chong. Yes. Okay.、Uh, when you come to Nepal?、Uh, it's in fact、uh, now it's the second year I came here. Yeah. Second time. Yeah, second time. Okay, first time when you came here?、Uh, first time、uh, last year during、uh, April and. In Kotishro Kanjirova. Now、okay. this school. Okay.、Uh, for what purpose you come first time, and now for what purpose you are here?、Um, first time I come here because I know that in Nepal the students wants to learn in Chinese, and、um, we know Nepal is nearby China,、mm-hmm. and、um, our friendship from the ancient time till now is very、uh, good friends. Good neighbors,、mm. and、uh, in China, everyone knows that Nepal is a very beautiful country.、Mm-hmm. So we come here. Okay. Do you feel Nepal is so beautiful country? Yes, it's really beautiful,、uh-huh. especially the sky. Yeah, the blue sky, and、uh, in the daytime, the blue sky with the white clouds is very beautiful. And in the night time, there are lots of stars. Alright.、Yeah. Uh, which place do you like most in Nepal? Which place? Yeah.、Uh, I like、um, Boda. Boda. Yeah. Have you、Boda. been there? Yeah, so many times. So many times.、Yeah. With whom? <laughs> with my friends.、Right. Some sometimes, yeah, with Chinese friends.、Uh-huh. Yeah. You have Chinese friends here. How many are there? Uh, we have lots of Chinese friends here.、Uh, in fact, in Kathmandu this year, we have one hundred and six Chinese volunteer teachers teaching here.、Okay. Yeah. Don't you don't have Nepali friends here? I have. You see,、yeah. uh, our principal man, our principal sir, and last year when I was in another school, I also have the Nepali friends. Okay. Do you know their name?、Uh, some of them I know.、Um, My best friend last year is Nitisha,、yeah. Nitisha man, yeah. Nitisha, yeah. And、Very、now, girl. now you don't have best friend、uh, this time. Um, I have. Um, how to say friend? Uh, which one is best? What kind of friend、okay. is best? All friends are best. Yeah, all are best. All are our best friends. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nowadays you are teaching Chinese language here in Mount View、yes. English Boarding School. How、yes. are you feeling? Um, it's very happy. Every day is very happy. Even though、uh, every week I have lots of work, lots of classes should I take, but I feeling very happy、okay. because our students they are really like Chinese and they want to learn、mm-hmm. like this.、Um, after class, they do not let me to go. They、okay. want to learn more.、Okay. Yeah, so I feel very happy. <laughs> All right. What type of students you get here? What type of? Yeah.、Um, They are very clever,、okay. very clever, and very active. Yeah. <laughs> okay.、Uh, what you teach them、uh, till now? Till now, because、um, just a few weeks passed. So、um, about the normal class,、uh, I teaching them some class rules and something like about Chinese fruits, Chinese culture, and I also train some students about the Chinese speech. Okay. Yeah.、Uh, do they learn well, or they feel it's so tough? No,、uh, maybe they think it's easy because、yeah. um, I just、uh, teaching them a few words, a few sentences in each class, so they can control. And after that, I will help them to review. They can、mm. remember all the languages, the knowledge they have already learned. Okay,、yeah. that means they feel so easy to learn. Yeah, for most students,、uh, they feel not difficult to learn.、Okay. Yeah. And how you feel here、uh, teaching them? Teaching them. Yeah. Mm, for example, uh, uh, teaching uh, how you are feeling now, teaching them to your language. I'm、um, happy. <laughs> happy. Uh, really happy. Yeah, of course. And don't you want to learn Nepali language? 
Uh, yeah, I'm Charlene. So uh, I learned some few words. Sometimes okay. the students they were teaching me. <laughs> okay. What you learned till now? Till now, um, they taught me some. Um, the first word is Namaste yeah. in Chinese, Ni Hao. And then they taught me some uh, food, the name of food, yeah. like Alu, Masu. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. What you most like to what you like to eat in uh, Nepali food? In Nepali food, um, this year uh, when I stay in Mount View, because mine is from uh, the Nepali group, mm -hmm. and their food is similar to my food. Yeah, yeah I, I'm from uh, Chongqing province. Our, our food style is spicy, and Nepali food is similar. Similar cooking way and mm -hmm. yeah, similar styles. So. Okay. <laughs> and like. what are you got differences between your culture and Nepali culture? Differences? Mm -hmm. mm, in what kind of from uh, about uh, uh, in culture? In culture. Yeah. Um, in culture, let's see, th because there are so many kinds of culture. Mm -hmm. So about the students, because I'm the teacher. Yeah, sure. <laughs> about the students, uh, in Chinese culture, uh, the students during the class they were sitting well, mm -hmm. and uh, in the class they will not talk. Okay. When when the teachers let them to answer the questions, then they they will start discussing. But the other times they will keep very silence. But here the students is more active than Chinese students like. because they are thinking, mm -hmm. always thinking. Yeah. Okay. And uh, other about students, what you like the most? You find your uh, than in your uh, country. Most. Yeah. Um, I think here the students they are more active more active, more happy. In my country, uh, the students after class, um, they have uh, lots of work they need mm -hmm. to do. They need to learn lots of things after class. When they go back home, sometimes they need to learn the music, like violin, mm -hmm. like piano, uh, and sometimes about art, uh, the dancing, lots of things they need to learn. They are very hard. But here the students, they are, they are more happy. Okay. Uh, why you choose this school, this particular school? Why I choose this school? Yeah. <laughs> Everything is dynasty, so I come here. <laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about your personal thing. Are you married or what? Mm, no, I didn't. Now I'm just uh, 24 years old, very young. Oh yeah. my god, 24 years. Yeah, very, very, very young. <laughs> okay. uh, what are you thinking about marriage? Marriage? Mm -hmm. mm, marriage is hard to say. <laughs> when we met the Mr. Wright, then it's coming. Okay. If, if we didn't meet the Mr. Right, then waiting. Okay. <laughs> Are we in love of your or what? Uh huh. Are you in love of your? In love. Mm, before this, I have a boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> but when I come here, some problems. Then, then <laughs> now you don't have. Yeah. So now can we do not talk about this? Uh -huh. <laughs> don't you like Nepali boys? So handsome, handsome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nepali boys are handsome, but I still love my furry boyfriend. Okay, do you want to prefer Nepali boy as your husband? Mm. No? <laughs> because just now I told you that I still love my foreign boyfriend. <laughs> uh, you still miss him? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, previously you were in love of your... So, for you, what is love? What is love? Mm. It's difficult to use one word to explain about love. but. Um, there are so many kinds of love between your, you and your parents, you and your friends, and teachers, mm -hmm. students, like this. But between the boyfriend and girlfriend, you want to know this one? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> About this one, I don't know how to say. Just like this, when you met uh, that uh, right one, mm -hmm. then you will, your heart, and you feel the different. When you hear, when you hear something, some message, some information about him or her, you will feel happy or sad, yeah. And uh, you want to uh, get married, you want to stay with him or her uh, all the life like that. Maybe that's a love. Okay. You want to take care of him or her, yeah, mm -hmm. that's love. Uh, what was your boyfriend's name? <laughs> Tai. Chai. Tai. Okay. Tai. Do you want to say something through this media to your boyfriend? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> something? I do not want to say. You, I, you still miss him, so I think you want to say, I miss you I like you, that. I hope you have a happy life. Yeah. I hope you can meet a good girl. 
Ah. Okay, let's stop talking okay. about this topic. But, uh, but oh, <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Uh, now let's talk about Nepali language. Uh, what language you learn from here? From here? Yeah. Mm, Nepali language because of the writing. Yeah. It's very difficult. Do you know writing in Nepali? Yeah, it's difficult. Uh -huh. So until now, I cannot uh, study Nepali language very well. I just know a few words. A few words, like you before said, you know, Namaste yeah. and uh, Masu, yeah. yeah. And Ali yeah. Ali, uh, if I'm for um, Boyo, <laughs> like this. Okay, uh, uh -huh. okay, okay go. Uh, how you communicate to Nepali? You don't know English and uh, Chinese too. Body language is the word language. Sure. <laughs> Show the gestures, okay. yes. Uh, how you say I'm hungry I'm to hungry. Uh, to those people who don't know Nepal English and as well as Chinese uh, in body language in body language oh, yeah. um they, they, they can understand so oh. if uh, I say something to the uh, other people they don't understand the Chinese or English yeah. like this oh I'm hungry I want okay. to eat I want to eat really hungry. So, uh, what uh, word you want to learn from Nepal, Nepali language? What word? A particular word that you want to learn? Uh, the Nepali word? Yeah. Mm. Is there anyone? I don't know. Um, I, I think in Nepal, your food, uh, food culture, or culture, the culture about food is very rich. Mm -hmm. I want to learn something about food. <laughs> okay, then you are most addicted to food. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, finally, what you want to say to audience who are watching uh, right now? Re watching right now? Yeah. Mm, namaste, everyone. Um, China and Nepal are very nice neighbors. And uh, now I come here as a volunteer teacher. I hope our students, they can learn in Chinese well. And uh, for them, in fact, for the students, it's a good chance for them. When they grow up, maybe they can learn in, uh, in Chinese university and they can get more chances. What advantage a student can get from learning Chinese language? Uh, what kind of advantages? Yeah. Mm, next is for our students uh, from now, the middle school students. If they are more than 15 years old, they can take part in the Chinese bridge competition. And if they can win the first and second prize, the Chinese government can pay for them. They can go into China, they can go to China and take part in the final competition about the Chinese bridge. And they can make friends with uh, the students which from the another countries. Yeah, in fact, uh, in the world, more than 100 countries, we have the Chinese financial teachers. That means if they can go to China, they can make lots of friends from the other countries. Okay. Yes. And when they grow up, when they grow up, if they can pass the HSK, uh, that is a kind of Chinese exam for the foreigner students, then they can go to China, not in Chinese university, and the Chinese government can pay for this kind of students. Uh, do you know Nepali song? Nepali song? Sorry, I, I don't know. I just know the last sentence about your national song. Okay, and Chinese song, you know? Chinese song, yeah, I know some. Okay, uh, can you sing a, s a short one? Uh, a short one? Yeah, Chinese. Uh. Mm, let's see. Okay. Uh, the Chinese name is Hou Lai, that means in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just sing two sentences, sure. fine? Okay. okay. Okay, what does it mean? Mini. <laughs> uh, that means, whole lie means in the future, the past term. After, that means, whole uh, lie. Uh, um, finally, I have already learned how to love the people, but at that time, <laughs> okay, that's, that's amazing. Uh -huh. Now, I will say some English word and we, you will translate it in Chinese, it in Chinese okay? Okay. Okay, what we, what you say, thank you in Chinese? In Chinese is 谢谢. Okay, Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, then I love you. 我爱你. 我 means I me. I means love. 
你 ，Miss You， 我爱你。Uh -huh. I love Nepal. 我爱尼泊尔。Uh, 尼泊尔 ，Nepal. Yeah. <laughs>